all right guys welcome back again to another exciting tutorial flash is here in this tutorial i want to continue from where we stop we've been designing awesome websites and it's pretty cool sorry uh, um resuming lately i have been battling with fever but thank god i'm back right now okay so what i want to do right now is i want to take a look at how we can you know do design studio in europe and at the same time do all this all right so let's just see how we can use uh you can see there's a space right in there like a space here there's a space here that's a space here that's a space here so this is how i wanted to see it the space here is a column empty but another space is here that contain text and button another space is long here sorry uh that contain a space so we have three columns so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to see inner section is what we normally use to design column so by the time you drag it and drop it inside you're going to have this kind of uh, display so what i'll do is this i'll just right click right at this edge and say duplicate all right and duplicate so by the time you do that that means you have three column one two three so that's how i want you to be doing it so we'll just drag this thing give it a size of probably um, 18 or whatever so um so and drag this one too and give it a uh, something like uh probably let's see we can give it something like 40. all right so this space leave it this space you have to leave it as well i think let me give it something like 40 five i just want to give it a space all right so i don't need to stress myself i just have to you know come back to this top where you drag click it so now for you to get back to where you can pick all your elements and drag straight down here and put it the text so what is the text is not actually showing what i like so i can easily go back here and see design studio in europe so i can copy it and i will say design studio in europe Control v design studio in europe but you can see this thing is not showing don't forget that um elemental has three panel first second third but if you're using if you are dragging an element element you have content style and advanced okay the element you are dragging is text okay don't forget that so what i'm going to do is i come to style and make sure that you change that color to white you can see i drag it up here so and then once you do that uh, let's go back to um um style so when you go back to style you will see a lot you see size and under size under this it is from typography you're gonna see it all right so let's click on typography so that we're able to you know increase the size or whatever we want to increase okay let's just uh, say uh there's one thing i want to show you okay uh, you can easily capitalize it you know we have a lot of things in there okay you can see a lot of properties are in there sorry typography you have a lot of property in there transition style normal italic oblique decoration underline overline line through none okay you see line spacing okay so let's work with size first okay let's just say game just want to work with size i think i'm okay with this uh so another thing i would like to do is that um let me just scroll up and say i want to drag another element and this element i want it to be bigger it's text as well so we'll drag it and i'm sure that i drag it inside the second column i drag it inside the second column so when you drop it all right it's going to give you some size okay and um don't forget you just copy i like i like all this it is the text that you need so what i will explain to you now is this whatever whenever you want to build a website the first thing you should ask your client is the content you can see that i i can be designing and at the same time i will be looking for where i can get the content so it's 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 tiring okay so uh, i'm gonna give this one white as well you can see it's awesome and i'm gonna say typography because i want to uh give you some type of i want to include the image size okay okay you can see you can see all right so let's see what they have in there services discover pixel so i think services is not at the bottom so we need to drag this thing a little drag it a little okay all right so what we're going to do is uh, i i need to make this thing uh a little bit lighter uh it's too hard so uh, i can click on it i come to typography you see width so from this way you can make it 400 or 300 or something you can see so once you do that you can easily make it bigger a little as well i just want it to be bigger so that um, i will have at least 
a good looking of my website okay i can make it bigger just want to make it bigger okay just want to make it bigger i think i like it like this let me make this one shrink like that shrink like this whichever way i want it i, I just want it to be more good up i mean i don't want it to be mind appealing all right let me just save this uh -huh. let me save this but the way i'm saying this they are too close so i can try to give it a line height so you're going to see it down there okay line height okay sorry typography you need a mouse sometimes if you are finding it out to work on your you can see you can see you can give it a line height okay so by the time you do that okay let's update always ensure that you update your website okay good so i have this thing and i need to drag it up a little because i think have, i'm having more space right in there which i'm not comfortable with so i can easily click on the entire section um okay column so when i will say come straight down there and i'll say margin top i have to margin top means space outside don't forget so i have to uncheck this and give it a negative value so that's going to drag up a little you can see it's dragging up it's dragging up it's dragging up let's give it something else to do like maybe 50 or something let's see all right i think i'm cool with this okay okay uh -huh. so let me shrink it and let's see whether it gives me what i want anyway this space is too much for me uh but i don't have options so let me see if i can drag it a little again okay and um let's save it let's update all right so concerning this i'm having the feeling i'm having one feeling but let me see if i can maneuver okay let me click and uh, let me say position uh, i'm looking for something okay okay hold on let me go back to content uh, okay i'm looking for something Texture, texture, do blend mode. Oops, I'm looking for inline. All right, I couldn't see it right now, but don't worry, I'll try to figure it out. Uh, maybe before we finish. Okay, well then I think uh, transformation. I'm looking for inline. Okay. Oh, anyways, um, I want to work on the text, but hold on. I think uh, I see where I'm coming from. Let me double click on this. Let me click on edit editing. Maybe I'll be able to see it like that. All right. So I think I've seen it. Okay. I think I, under which you see in line. I'll tell you the reason. So imagine you want to work on the background color of this. Uh, and you come here you will come to style and it's actually telling you uh uh hold on i want to give you the background background color you know if you look at this you can see the background color is white so what if i want to do the same so if you want to do that it's a little bit advanced so you just come to advance and scroll down and see background you see background okay let's see we can see background there you can see i can see background there i see background Okay. All right. This background type you can see it is classic. You can give it color of white. But this thing is not what I really want. It gives the entire length background of white. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to say okay. Now the first thing we need to do now for us to to, to make it work worthwhile is that we need to figure out the text color itself. Well, let's take text color. The text color is something that looks like green. Okay let's scroll up and let's make sure that we do the text color typography color and let's ensure that we give it something like green something like green okay you can see so now i'm trying to figure out the arrive at that so now you now come back to style again under this style advance you see width you now give it inline so that the thing is going to be minimal you can see it is now smaller but the text is too big so you can reduce the text or probably 
make sure that the background has a padding you can pad it so padding top and padding you can just give it a padding padding top just give it maybe 15 or 20 okay let's say 10 you can see and let's say this one bottom is 10 too you can see it gives it a space and right should be what maybe five i just want to give you an idea of how they did it and left also is going to be five okay now see so um i think i'm okay with this so i can easily make sure that this thing again have some space but at the bottom so i can say margin bottom i can give it 520 so that was okay not 200 120 so that there's going to be a space at the top all right i think i'm good with this so in the next tutorial we're going to dive into something more awesome we're going to see how we can create this other section and until then i can't wait to have you in the next tutorial have fun and happy developing bye